Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about two component signal system and the chemotaxis in bacteria. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what is two component signaling system? The two component signaling system is the most common form of signaling pathway that responds to ex extracellular events in bacteria and in plants. Canonical two component system in bacteria consists of a sensor that is an autophosphorylating histidine kinase and a response regulator which transfers the phosphate from sensor kinase to a conserved aspartate within the same domain. The sensor histidine kinase is located in the membrane and it can be activated by binding a ligand that is in the extracellular medium. The activation causes the kinase to autophosphorylate and the reaction transfers uh, phosphate from ATP on the histidine residue in the kinase domain. The sensor interacts with effector proteins that is the response regulator and the response regulator has two domains conserved receiver domain and the effector domain. The receiver domain catalyzes the transfer of phosphate group from histidine on the sensor to aspartic acid residue in its own domain. This activates the effector domain and uh, the usual end target of the two component uh, pathway is the regulation of gene transcription. So this is ba uh, the basics of uh, two component signaling system. Now let's see what is chemotaxis in bacteria. The movement of uh, organism in specific direction in response to the chemical stimulus is called the chemotaxis. So that is the definition of uh, chemotaxis that means the movement of bacteria in specific direction in response to the chemical stimulus. The chemotaxis in uh, bacteria depends on signaling pathway that terminates at the flagellar motor. The bacterial flagellar uh, motion is rotatory in nature and the membrane proteins uh, MOT A and MOT B along with the play G create a proton channel that drives the rotation of the flagellum. So the membrane proteins that are involved are uh, uh, MOT A and MOT B along with the play G that is FLI G. The rotation of flagella can be clockwise or counterclockwise. When the flagella rotates uh, clockwise, forward motion ceases and the cells will tumble. But counterclockwise rotation of the flagella results in the forward motion or the run. So there are two types of uh, rotation of flagella that is clockwise and uh, counterclockwise. So clockwise uh, results in the tumble and the counterclockwise result in the forward motion or the run. In the absence of uh, chemical gradient, the bacteria such as E. coli move in random fashion that includes runs where the swell is um, swimming forward and tumbles when the cell stops. That is the uh, general uh, phenomena when there is no, when there is an absence of chemical gradient, this moves in a random uh, fashion. Following a tumble, the direction of the next run in the cell is random. So, however, if a gradient of chemical attractant is present, these random movements become biased. The absence of chemical gradient results in the random movement, but where is a presence of attractant, this can be biased. As the bacterium uh, senses uh, that it is moving towards a higher concentrations of the attractant, the runs become longer and uh, tumble less frequent. So presence of attractant results in more of a um, forward motion and less of a tumble. And if the bacterium is sensing a repellent, the same general mechanism applies, although in this case, it is a decrease in the concentration of repellent that promotes the run. The bacterial chemotaxis is uh, mediated by transmembrane receptors and uh, phosphorylation relay systems. And it depends on a two component uh, signaling pathway activated by histidine kinase associated receptors. So this we have already discussed in the beginning. The chemotaxis uh, receptors are methylated during the adaptation and so are called as the methyl accepting chemotaxis protein that is the MCPs. The phosphorylation relay system enables the chemotaxis receptors to control the flagellar motor. In E. coli, the binding of repellent increases the activity of the receptor which binds a GW or the adapter protein and GA or the sensor protein that act as a histidine kinase thereby stimulating GA to phosphorylate itself on the histidine. So there are two proteins involved that is the adapter protein and the sensor protein. The adapter protein is also known as the GW and the sensor protein is called as the GA. So the GW results in the uh, phosphorylation of uh, GA 
on the histidine domain and the Ga quickly transfers the covalently bound high energy phosphate directly to aspartate of Gy that is the response regulator to generate uh, Gy phosphate. So what happens is uh, Gw the adapter protein and Ga binds to that and autophosphorylates and this transfers the phosphate to the Gy that is the response regulator. The phosphorylated Gy uh, dissociates uh, from the receptor and diffuses through the cytos uh, cytosol and binds to the fragile moton and causes it to rotate clockwise. The resulting is tumbling. So phosphorylated state of uh, GY remains only for few seconds. The protein GZ accelerates the dephosphorylation of uh, GY phosphate thereby inactivating it. So there is another protein called the GZ that dephosphorylates the uh, GY to stop the movement. The binding of an attractant has opposite effect. It inactivates the uh, receptor and therefore decreases the phosphorylation of uh, G A and GY which result in the counterclockwise flagellar rotation and resulting in the forward motion or the run. Each of the phosphorylated intermediate decays in about uh, 10 seconds enabling the bacterium to respond very quickly to changes in the environmental factors. The response to an increase in the concentration of attractant or repellent is only transient even if the higher level of ligand is maintained as the bacteria desensitize or adapt to the increased stimulus. The adaptation is mediated by covalent methylation. A methyl transferase or the GR catalyzes the methylation of MCP. These are the uh, chemotaxis protein that are involved in the signaling uh, that is the GA, GW, GY, GZ and GR. So GA for cytoplasmic uh, sensor kinase. Uh, GW is an adapter protein linking the sensor protein with the GA. GY is the response regulator controlling the flagellar motor. And GZ is an um, aspartate specific protein phosphatase for the signal termination. And GR is the methyl transferase catalyzing the methylation of MCP. So hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.